the match today is Rio Ave against Porto. Alfonso Secretario is the referee in charge of today's game. Martinez. Christian Teo. Quintero. This is the chance. Got to be. Splendid goal here. Come and have another look at this goal. Well, that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. Well, he tried to find his man, but he's only put the ball into touch. Christian Teo. chance to attack from the tackle Christian Teo the defenders done very well there to stop the cross with this goal advantage they've now got a corner chance uh, to take another look at Teo's goal corner put into the goalkeeper it was an early foul right to the referee to say yeah well that's a free kick and you know you can't do that Here's the shot. He's tried it, tried his luck, but over the crossbar by a lot. Pintero. Christian Teo. Referee's going to step in, Afonso Secretario. Okay, his teammates have been curious. They've been really working hard to get back into the game, and now they've lost the player here. Mm -hmm. All that effort, and it looks like it's going to go to waste. Well, that's risky going in like that. Yeah, he might have done a bit more damage to his opponent than seems to have been the case. for the goalkeepers to try and catch the ball these days but he's caught this one good control here quite congested midfield but good passing from this team he's got support to his right he's looking for the cross he's going to cross it and that cross knocked away by the defender it back from his teammate and there it is it's come back it's an exhibition here with such great passing they've set it up well for the cross what a good piece of defensive clearance that was La Silva try here skimming past the post
Porto's throw. Porto fans really getting behind the team, but it's a team that needs a bit of help from the supporters at the moment. But they have got the lead. It's not long to go to half time. Here's the chance. Straight at the keeper. Christian Teo. He saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Hassan attacking well here. He can cross it now. Into the face of the opposition. Karezma. That's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. Well, it's quite clear what these supporters are going to be talking about during the half-time. It is that sending off. Yeah, and as a manager, it drives him mad because it was one of those challenges he didn't have to make, and he's, he's put his teammates in trouble here. second half we could be in really in the clear now in with the chance four down score the goal here Finish this was really did put his boot through it to find the left hand side. Have another peek at that goal. Away from that slide tackle. Substitution that the home side want to make. He's gone on one possession back with that tackle. Karezma. This could be a chance. He's in the clear. Got to be. Something of a power play in these circumstances to get a goal when you've got the extra player. Yeah, they've used the full width of the pitch to to stretch the depleted team. The goal from Adrian. Not quite sure what the keeper was doing there, but the goal scorer didn't mind one bit. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. another goal to bank towards victory here here the challenge is a good one it's a quick break and here's the shot oh miss for Porto Quintero will 
brilliant opening. Shots on here. He's missed it. Quintero, Herrera, cross into the goalkeeper's territory, and he made sure he claimed the ball. Da Silva, Quintero, great passing, and the crowd really enjoying it. Right in quickly to try and win the ball back. Well, let's pause for a moment to let in Alan McAnally here with some goal news. It's a second goal for the home team. 72 minutes played. 2 1. Oh, he's through. Can the... Oh, what an opportunity. Karezma. That's the keeper's athleticism there to make that save. Still on the attack, and they've got a corner. piece of defensive clearance that was Adrian there'll be a signal here at the corner another look at Adrian Lopez's goal good clearing header Porto fans will be very pleased with this because there have been no anxieties for the team. They have been the top dog in this match and it's just been a case of the margin of victory, really. Still a few minutes left. It's gone out for a throw-in. It's the centre-back who comes off and, well, he's going to have a, a replacement. And he's going to have a bit of food for thought, I think, sitting down on the bench now about what went wrong for him in this game. Oh, hardly won a header, hardly won a tackle. He was dominated by the strikers. Well, we're coming towards the end of the game now, and it's been clear for some time that we have a winner. He might be through. It's a real opening here. Here's the shot. Porto have scored a goal here. Goal from Adrian, and he's just decided to put his foot through it. But does he get lucky? I prefer to say that he's a really skillful finish into the bottom left. A good look here again by the replay of the goal. Much longer to go in the game, and the game in truth is over with a scoreline like this. I think that this team really had every chance of winning the game. The fans knew that, didn't they, when they came here? They takes the shot off. Oh, get the shot out. It's still in play. Christian Teo. run its course here and there's the final whistle After the game, the visiting supporters will find their bus as a match it was rather one-sided wasn't it because of the capacity of one team to dominate the football it was a football lesson it was pretty humiliating for the inferior team they just didn't get